Students, today we are going to learn about valuation of shares. We can value the shares by three methods, namely net assets method, yield value method and the fair value method. Yes, look at the board. On 31st December 2005, the balance sheet of M Limited disclosed the following position, liabilities and assets. Issued capital in rupees 10 share, 4 lakh rupees. So the total share equity share capital, the total equity share capital rupees 4 lakh. Each share value rupees 10. So equity share capital divided by each share paid up value will get a number of equity share. Then reserves, profit and loss account, 5% debenture and current liability. Asset side, fixed assets, current asset, goodwill. These values are called book value or balance sheet values. On 31st December 2005, the fixed assets were independently valued at Rs. 3,50,000. The old value 5 lakh. The new value is 3,50,000. And the goodwill at Rs. 50,000. The old goodwill value 40,000. The new goodwill value 50,000. These are all called realized value of assets. Then the net profits for the 3 years. 2003 profit 51,600. 2004 profit 52,000, 2005 profit rupees 51,650, of which 20% was placed to reserve. The normal rate of return may be taken at 10%. Compute the value of shares by net asset method. It is also called the intrinsic value method. So here we'll use assets and liabilities to find the value of shares. Then yield value method, we'll use the profit of the organization to find the value of shares. Fair value method, it is nothing but average of net assets method and yield value method. Now, we are going to find the share value by net asset method. First method, we are going to net asset method. Net assets method. First method, we are going to find share by net asset method. For that, we will take all assets. For that, we'll take all assets at realized value, new value. We'll take new value, realized values. First asset, fixed asset. The old value, 5 lakh, new value is 3 lakh 50. We'll take the realized value, 3 lakh 50 thousand. Then, 3 lakh 50 thousand. Then we have current assets. As far as current asset concerned, realized value is not given. So we'll take the old value, which is rupees 2 lakh. Then goodwill, old goodwill value 40,000, the new goodwill value 50,000. So we'll take new goodwill value. So we recorded all assets realized value. Its value 4 lakh, 6 lakh. Total realized value of asset. 6 lakh. We have to deduct, we have to deduct external liabilities. We have to deduct external liabilities. The external liabilities are debenture, debenture, bank loan, debenture, bank loan, loan, credit are, bills payable, bills payable, Bank overdraft, outstanding expenses, proposed dividend, and provision for tax. These are all called external liability. We can take from the liability side. Issued capital is an internal source. Reserves is an internal source. Profit and loss account is an internal source. Five percent debenture is an external liability. So 5% debenture, external liability, its value 1 lakh. 1 lakh. Then current liabilities. Current li bank loan is not given, loan also not given. So these liabilities are called current liability. The current liability value, the total current liability value is given 1 lakh 30,000. So the current liabilities are credit or bills payable, bank or draft, outstanding expenses, proposed dividend, provision for taxation and uh, income received in advance. Income received in 
advance. These are all called current liability. What we have to do? We have to add external liability, total external liability value, 2,30,000. Realized value of assets, 6 lakh, minus external liability value, 2 lakh 30. So the balance, 3 lakh 70, that we called net assets. That we called net asset. Now, we can find share value by net asset method. Net assets method. share value, formula is net assets divided by number of equity share, number of equity share. Net assets, just now we ascertained 3,70,000 divided by number of equity share. Issued share capital value 4 lakh divided by each share value. Each share paid up value how much? 10. So number of equity share equal to number of equity shares equal to equity share capital equity share capital divided by each share paid up value. Each share paid up value. So equity share capital value 4 lakh divided by each share paid up value how much 10 so there are 40,000 equity share so net assets available 3,70,000 divided by 40,000 equity shares 40,000 shares so 3,70,000 divided by 40,000 equity share so 9.25 per share so we ascertained Share value under net asset method or yield value method, the value is 9.25. Then second one, the second method, second method is yield value method. Yield value method. We use the profit to find yield value method. For this, the formula is rate of dividend rate of equity dividend rate of equity dividend divided by normal rate of return normal rate of return multiplied by each share each share paid up value each share paid up value in this question rate of dividend is not given normal rate of return is given that is 10%. Each share value also given. Each share paid up value how much? 10. We have to ascertain the rate of dividend. 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 For that, first we will take average profit. First we will take what? Average profit. Formula, total profits. Total profit divided by number of years. Students, I am going to calculate rate of equity dividend. I am going to find rate of equity dividend. First, we need average profit. Formula for that, total profit divided by number of years. What we have to do? We have to add all the profit. So, 51,600 plus 52,000 plus 51,650. There are three years profit are given. So, add all the profit divided by numbers of years of profit. So 51,600 plus 52,000 plus 51,650. So the total profit is 1,55,250 divided by 3. Divided by 3. So the average profit is 51,750. 51,750. Then out of average profit, first we have to deduct the income tax. We have to deduct income tax. But in this question, income tax percentage is not given. So, income tax is nil. So, the balance of profit we we'll call net profit. Net profit after tax. Net profit after tax. Then, we have to deduct transfer to, transfer to reserve. 
normally the company transfer 20% of its profit to the reserve given in the question of which 20% was placed to the reserve so 51,750 multiplied by 20% we get 10,350 so out of 51,750 they transfer 10,350 to the reserve so the balance balance 41,400 this we called net profit net profit available to equity shareholder now we ascertain the net profit available to equity shareholder now I am going to find the rate of dividend now I am going to find the rate of dividend for that formula is rate of dividend rate of dividend equal to net profit net profit available to equity shareholder net profit available to equity shareholder divided by equity share capital equity share capital paid up multiplied by 100 here net profit available to equity shareholder just now we ascertained 41,400 divided by equity share capital given in the question paid up value how much 4 lakh into 100 so 41,400 divided by 4 lakh multiplied by 100 so rate of dividend is 10 point rate of dividend is 10.35 percent so now we ascertained rate of dividend which is 10.35 percent so rate of dividend is 10.35 percent divided by 10 percent into each share paid up value so 10.35 divided by 10.35 10.35 divided by 10 multiplied by each share family family each share paid up value 10 will get 10.35 per share so under yield value method each share value 10.35 now we have one more method now we have one more method it's called fair value method it's called fair value method fair value method formula is net asset method net asset method plus yield value method divided by 2 so the fair value method it's nothing but the average of net asset method and the yield value method. The net asset method, each share value 9.25. And the yield value method, each share value 10.35. Divided by 2. So 9.25 plus 10.35 divided by 2. 9.25. 9.8 per share. Students, uh, in this uh, question, preference share capital is not given. So, we ascertained net asset method and uh, yield value method and uh, fair value method. In next class, we will solve different problem. Till then, bye and uh, thank you.